Chinatown right behind me. We also know about Little India, but let's visit Little Manila. There are so many stores that sell all kinds of things from the Philippines so if you're a homesick Filipino you'll find what you want here. If you're looking for a Filipino feast <laughs> You come here. What's the name of the place? Uh, place 21 Cafe. Place 21 Cafe in Kotaraya. I mean, a huge, huge selection of Filipino food. Let's take a look. Lechon Kawale and the Bicol Express. Every Filipino meal has to have has to have this as an ending. Hello, hello. It's typical of any Asian country. There's always this ice dessert. In Malaysia, you have your ABC, your ice kacang. Uh, for the Philippines, it is hello hello. Uh, ice cream topped with ice cream here that has to be yam ice cream. And there's also some flan. The, 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 yeah, yeah, the leche flan, flan. Lots of ice, a lot of sweet goodness. Let's dig in. Mm. There's the milk, there's the syrup, there's the jelly. Heaven. I was just told there's even Nanka jackfruit in here. Masarap. Lots of other nice stuff here from the Philippines. I'm back home now and I got a huge confession to make. <laughs> I thought I recorded a lot of stuff but I got the buttons mixed up and every time I thought I was recording I wasn't and when I thought I wasn't recording I was so there was a, there's lots of footage of my feet walking. <laughs> A lot of the shops at uh, Kotoraya have actually closed. I was quite surprised when I got down there. And speaking to the people, they said because um, the majority of the people that go to Kotoraya, or what I call Little Manila, are Filipinos living in Kuala Lumpur. 
And of late, there's been a crackdown on illegal migrants. So they've been getting a lot of raids by the immigration officers. So a lot of their customers are too afraid to go down there. So business has dropped and a lot of the shops have actually closed down. So if you do go down there, uh, basically the first floor and the second floor, um, there are still some shops. Uh, most of the uh, cafes have moved down to the first floor. There, the one where I actually ate, they're on the third floor in the corner. Um, so just venture around. I know it, it may look a bit scary, but <laughs> it's a good experience. Um, besides that, I do intend to go back and get uh, proper visuals of Kotarai. But anyway, thank you very much for watching A Day in the Life of Alan. Until we meet again, don't forget, like, share, subscribe.